so now uh, how do we uh, contact this bot either you can you know just uh, tap here and you can search your bot with this username or anyone can do that so if you want to manage then you'll have to use bot father okay if i tap here i see this and i'll have to click on start okay and uh, this way uh, nothing happens right now because we have not set up anything yet all right to uh, set up anything uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to go here and we can get messages here so if i do get updates so these are all the you know uh, messages which has been sent here so i sent this slash start and this is what this is like a bot command who is the username and this is the chat id which we will need to send the messages and if i send something else to this bot as well like uh, hello there uh so it will come up if i run this uh, get update again so it will again show up here with like you know hello there okay and all we need is this chat id so i'll copy this and uh, here in this this is the send message uh, api it's just slash send message okay and in body here we have to specify the chat id so this is like a form uh, here they have mentioned either you can uh, do this using query string or application json or multi part form data okay here are all the methods so like this is update this is like get updates and get webhook info and all those we will uh, learn how to set up webhook in the next video and here you can see all these uh, info and whatever type it has okay and i won't be you know going through every time to show you that it is here but i'll just you know i have already uh, figured out uh, how things are here and i have kept them in this http console so that we can easily uh, send this okay now if i send some text here uh, here this is i am uh, testing some javascript and all and here uh, it 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 will just go like this and if i click on send i have put the chat id here you get to see take uh, some js so here if we want to format this uh, if we go to you know send message uh, send uh, message so this is the api uh, this is the method which we are uh, looking for so this is the chat id like uh, it is required and here is this parse mode parse mode will uh, allow us to you know format uh, different types of messages so if i go to formatting options so parse mode takes uh, multiple options like markdown v2 so i can simply uh, pass this a uh, markdown v2 thing here okay and if i send this uh, let's see what happens now uh, it is not showing me the curly uh, braces and it is highlighting this okay so this is how you can do it and if we wanted to bold something so you can do this with just one star and with this like italic and all those things and a strike through as well so if i you know just copy this and uh, i put it uh, here so it uh, will give you an idea of how it looks like okay so you see this is bold text this is italic text this is underline this is strike through and this is a spoiler okay so all these things you can do with this telegram bot api just using the send messages so all you need to do is you need to store these chat ids whoever is talking to you and you need to reply to them using this chat id okay and what else you can do is this chat id might change but to prevent that what you do is you create a group and you add this bot to that group so let's do that so i'll uh, click on a new group and uh, i'll uh, say like uh, test my bot quizzes okay and i will just add this bot learn aws quiz bot okay i have added this bot so uh, if i send any messages or anything like that the bot will get to know as well and i'll have to uh, you know make him admin as well here in administration i can add this as admin okay and uh, all these things uh, you can do and i'll just save it here and here now our uh, bot is admin so now it can uh, send messages to uh, everyone 
So if I say hi here, uh, so let's see if we get this messages using get messages. Uh, let's see, do we have hi? So yes, here we go, we have this hi. Okay, if I close this and so here uh, a new chat member, uh, we get this event. So we can just, you know, store this itself. And this is the old chat member from ID and user and all this. So the group name is uh, like, this is uh, the my chat member. This is how you get the group ID. So this is, is this is starts with minus, okay? And if I wanted to send uh, messages to group, now if I, I'll just change this chat ID to this chat ID and I send this. And now you will see our bot is sending messages in this group. So you can have multiple members and uh, you can receive uh, and send messages through bot. Okay, and in the next section, we will see how we can set up webhook with our Lambda.